All right, time for a look at the forecast. We're looking live. This is uh, the view from Mount Tam. Uh, Crown Force Gail Long has been tracking that incoming heat wave. She's here with the latest. Yes, Catherine, that will be the big weather story this week. And in the last hour, the National Weather Service just issued a red flag warning for the North and East Bay Mountains, as you can see here, including the greater Sacramento area. So it's going to be a lot. Not only that, right behind this, it's going to go in effect tomorrow night into Wednesday afternoon. We're expecting some dry, gusty offshore winds, low relative humidity, and of course, that triple digit heat, very much a West Coast event here statewide. As you can see, much of the state is under a heat warning. This will be for Tuesday all the way to Friday. So with that fire weather, let's talk about this because we have the holidays coming up. A lot of campfires, fireworks, 85% of wildfires are actually caused by humans. So just be fire safe. The uh, only natural way uh, wildfire starts is lightning. And right now there is no lightning in the forecast. Back to that excessive heat. It looks like the hottest days will be Tuesday, Wednesday. And we're talking, as Jack mentioned in this story, several days, uh, four to five days of triple digit heat inland, even 110 degrees in places like Concord on Wednesday. So today, this was the last well, one of the last days of near normal temperatures. So we had a very pleasant weekend, you know, in the mid to low 90s inland, 70s and 80s across the bay, 60s by the coast. But keep that in mind. You'll be hearing a lot of this, of that heat wave coming up Tuesday. So tomorrow you'll start to feel it with upper 90s inland. But Tuesday, you can also see 90s around the Bay Shore, And a lot of you do not have AC. So we'll talk more about this excessive heat warning and the red flag warning when I come back in a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Gail, thanks very much.